Hour. To talk about all of this, I want to bring in Jack Reed, a Democratic senator from Rhode Island. He and Senator Kane both sit on the Armed Services Committee, on which Senator Reed is the ranking member. Senator, thanks for joining us from Washington. Thank you, Hallie, very much. Thank you. So listen, listen, since you work with Senator Kane on that Armed Services Committee, let me first ask you about his performance. Critics have called it, quote, condescending, rude. Do you think his attack-style attitude overshadowed the points he was trying to make? No, I don't. Uh, not at all. I think he obviously was extremely well prepared. He focused on issues. And frankly, uh, I think Donald Trump lost that debate because Governor Pence made no serious attempt to defend Donald Trump. He, he dismissed uh, accusations. He changed the subject. He did everything but stand up strongly for Donald Trump. So uh, I think the loser last evening was Donald Trump. Is the Tim Kaine you saw on stage last night the Tim Kaine that you know? It is. Someone who's extremely well prepared, uh, very thorough. Somebody who interrupts thorough, frequently, very... somebody who is sort of uh, aggressive in that respect? Well, I think he's ag aggressive. I, I think he makes his points. Uh, and I think, you know, he's someone who, when he speaks, and this is on a bipartisan basis, people listen to because he's thoughtful, well prepared. And uh, he was trying to make the case. Uh, and. Asked Governor Pence to defend some outrageous statements by uh, Mr. Trump in terms of ethnic minorities in the United States, between foreign policy issues, why he hasn't released his taxes, and throughout, uh, Governor Pence decided to change the subject. So uh, I think the end of the day, uh, Donald Trump is still sitting there as someone who has not been effectively explained or defended. I want to ask you a, a policy question here because Pence seemed to be straying from his running mate on uh, some key topics, including on foreign policy. This is how my colleagues Benji Sarlin and Alex Seitzwald describe it. Pence criticized Russia for supporting airstrikes by Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad against rebels in Aleppo and said the U.S. should be prepared to use military force to strike military targets in the Assad regime. What do you make of that apparent shift, Senator? Well, it seems that is a discontinuity between what Mr. Trump is saying. He's been saying that, that we should work together with the Russians. Uh, he has uh, suggested uh, that he has admiration for Putin. Uh, so it's completely uh, seemingly inconsistent from what uh, Trump, the candidate, is saying. So there's a, obviously a disagreement, it appears, between the vice presidential nominee and the presidential nominee. And I frankly, in the world of Donald Trump, I don't think he listens to anybody, so he'll take his opinion and go forth. That's Let why me he poses topics, that, the danger. Senator, I want to talk about former President Bill Clinton. He's getting a lot of flack for a comment that he made about the Affordable Care Act. I want to play you his comment and how Donald Trump is already using this on the campaign trail. Listen. You've got this crazy system. It's the craziest thing in the world. He's absolutely trashed President Obama's signature legislation. Of all people, maybe he's not a very good surrogate. Obamacare has been called Hillary Clinton's potential November surprise because on November 1st is when consumers could see potentially a major rate increases. So how much did the former president step in it here? Well, the president pointed out today that he supported the Affordable Care Act while it was being developed and while it passed. He has, like many of us, a, a criticisms of the application. In fact, one of the problems we've had, frankly, is that in the last several years, the Republicans have uh, decided that they wanted to repeal it. I think they've tried to repeal it many, many times in the House of Representatives rather than correcting and fixing it. I think sensible reforms would help everyone, but they're not interested in sensible reforms. They want to make a point. They don't want to make good policy. You call it, you see there's, there's criticism of the applications, but this is clearly becoming a campaign wedge issue that Donald Trump twice in the last two days alone has hit this, and I expect he will do so again in Nevada. I imagine that has to concern you. Well, I think one of the interesting things about uh, Mr. Trump is that he's been attacking uh, affordable care since the beginning of his campaign, but he has no alternative. And I think the American people will say, okay, fine. You don't, if you think this is not an appropriate policy, what is your policy? And all he talks about is he's got something great, it would be terrific, et cetera. Once again, it sounds a lot like Trump University. You know, just believe me and you'll be all set. And uh, there are a lot of people out there regretting that they believe Donald Trump. Democratic Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island joining us there from the Capitol. Thanks so much, Senator. Thank Donald you. Trump.